Following on from the previous video, we uh, we were trying to determine whether or not this will converge or if it will diverge. So we uh, we got to a stage where we can set our our, our capital N to be at three. So we're going to break this up. So so when we break it up at uh, at uh, capital N equals three, we know it's going to to always be decreasing. We know that this will be satisfied. This will be satisfied. This will be satisfied. So we're going to break it up at n equals three. So hang on. So this is what we're trying to uh, determine whether or not this thing will converge or if it will diverge. So we're going to break this up as this thing plus this thing. Notice that this is our our capital N here. We we're going to sum it up from three to infinity. So so now that we know this thing here is always decreasing, we can compare. We can start to compare this with. Uh, we can start to compare this with the integral. Now there's a theor the theorem says that if this thing here diverge, then this will also diverge. If this thing here converge, then this thing here will also converge. The theorem says that, and we've seen it in the past. So now, uh, now we we are trying to de determine whether or not this thing will converge or if it or if it will diverge. So we're going to break it up into two parts. Now just concentrate on finding uh, finding out whether or not this thing will converge or if this will converge. By the way, this this thing here, um, this thing here is it's going to be two uh, uh, two definite terms. Um, th th this is going to be a whole number. This is going to be a whole number. You're going to get two two definite numbers here. So so really it boils down to whether or not this thing here will converge or if it will diverge. So let's let's make the comparison. So compare this with this. So does does this thing converge or does it diverge? So we've done this in the past. Um, let's let's just work it out from three to b and then later on take the limit as b heads towards infinity. So integrate this. So to integrate this, you, you could use substitution, but um try and visualize it like this. Hang on. Try and visualize it like this. You've got you've got try and visualize it like this, natural log of x uh, times one over x. So uh you, you could use substitution, but notice that this thing is is the exact derivative of this. So when you integrate this, um you're you're looking for something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you this thing here. Well if, if you if you make this to be uh log of x squared, now differentiate this, the two will go down here, so that will then be two, uh the bubble stays intact, uh and then uh and then the power gets minus by one. And then you times the derivative of the bubble itself, which is 1 over x. You see this is exactly the same as this. This is exactly the same as this. And you just need to negate this too. So, so make this to be your adjustment. Well, you could use substitution, but, um, try and, ne next time when you see, next time you, when you see this, try and, uh, try and spot that, that, um, that, um, that, um, that, um, that this thing here is the exact derivative of this. So just integrate it in your mind straight away. Well, integrate it, it will then give you this. And then, uh, and then put the b into here, uh, and then put it later on, put the 3 into here. That would then give you, that would then give you, that would then give you this thing here. Now take, uh, so, so don't forget, currently, currently it is, we are integrating from, from, uh, 3 to b. But, um, but now, what integrating from 3 to b would give us this. Now take the limit as b tends to infinity. Then this thing here will then become from three to infinity. So well, if you if 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 b heads towards infinity, this is going to be a finite number. Um, this thing here, well, this thing here is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger because natural log of b squared. Well, natural log graph looks like this, and then. Uh, as b heads towards infinity, it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. This thing here is going to diverge. So, taking the limit as b heads towards infinity, this thing here will head towards infinity, meaning, meaning this thing here diverge. So, going back to earlier, we were try we were comparing, we were comparing this thing with this thing. Uh, and now, now we've established that this thing diverges because it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Therefore, this thing must also be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So we were trying to integrate from one to infinity. Uh, we broke it up into this and this. This we know is going to be two, two terms, two definite numbers. And, and this thing here, 
because sorry how let's start again we were comparing this with this this thing here diverges therefore this thing must diverge this thing here will will, 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 will diverge because this is exactly the same as this this thing will diverge uh, this thing here two two terms two two numbers if you like you're adding two numbers to to this thing if this is things getting bigger and bigger and bigger you're adding let's say two numbers let's say three and seven um three and seven well the whole thing here we're just going to get bigger and bigger because this thing's getting bigger and bigger therefore this thing here is getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, meaning this thing here will diverge okay